part 14 of the Christian authority. So I'm going to continue right on from 2 Peter 1, verse 1. Peter's talking to the people of like who have received the like precious faith. And it goes on in verse 2. So 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 2. May God's grace and favor, his peace, which is perfect, well-being, all necessary good, all spiritual prosperity and freedom from fears and agitating passions and moral conflicts, be multiplied to you, be multiplied to you in the full, personal, precise, and correct knowledge of God and of Jesus, our Lord. I like that, multiplied. So, let's say we were just adding 3 plus 3 would be 6. But if we multiplied it, 3 times 3 would be 9. There's something even more significant about multiplying anything. Let's take it from there. 9 plus 9 is 18. But 9 times 9 is 81. That's pretty awesome. So, in dealing with the people of like precious faith, he's saying, may God's grace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. We're talking about from John 8, 31 and 32, that, and you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. I believe in studying the Word of God, that, and I've seen it in my own life too, that in studying the Word of God, that you can read a verse and read another verse in the natural, and you'd know two verses. And you read another verse and you, you know three verses. But I believe that this multiplying is talking about God's empowering and helping to make you free by adding knowledge to it. And this multiplication in taking three and multiplying it three times instead of adding it three times. I believe that this is the supernatural way that God does it. You spend five or ten minutes in the Word three or four times a week. It will be as if you are reading the Bible an hour a day. And if you happen to read the Bible an hour a day, not just reading it to get through the book of Romans, or not just reading it to get through the entire Bible in a year, but reading it to hear what the Holy Spirit is trying to tell you. It will apply to your life where you're at right now. Let's take it a step further. He talks about grace in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 2. May grace... And peace. This grace is our unmerited, our unearned favor of God. It's personal from God for us. Or even his willingness to use his power on our behalf, even though we don't deserve it. And we know we don't deserve it. So in Matthew 28, Jesus left some parting instructions. Matthew 28, 18 to 20. So, God's grace is undeserved favor. And yet, and yet, this like precious face that sustains us as we grow in the knowledge of God, that's the truth that's going to set us free. Here's what Jesus said. All authority... All power of rule in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go then and make disciples of all the nations. Jesus said, it's all been given. And then he said, to go. This is what we're doing. I am going. Thanks for watching.